Okay guys, so now I'm back to continue on with my sticky buns. You can see that my dough has doubled in size. It's risen nicely. So now it's time to roll it out. So the first thing I'm gonna do is kind of punch this down. I'm gonna knock all those air bubbles out of here. This will make it easier to work with. And also it just um, expels all those gases that we built up from our yeast. So you can see how it's knocked down. Now I'm gonna turn it out onto my work table. Let me get it out of the bowl here. And I do need to lightly flour my work surface. I don't need too much flour. I'm just gonna do a little light sprinkle sprinkle, okay? There we go. So now my work surface is floured. I'm gonna take my dough and I'm gonna cut this in about half because this is a large batch. So I'm gonna show you all how we're gonna work with this piece here. So what I'm gonna do is try to roll this out into as even of a rectangle as I possibly can. I'm gonna put a little flour on top and I'm gonna start rolling it out into a rectangle. And I wanna always keep my dough moving. If I can do this, then that ensures me that it's not sticking to my table and I don't want it to stick to the table because obviously I want them to be able to come off. So I'm gonna roll from different directions. When I'm rolling, I always start from the center and I kind of apply light force and roll in whichever direction I need my dough to go in in order to achieve the shape that I'm going for. So again, for this, I'm going for a rectangle. My dough is still not sticking, so we're good on that. Okay. And let's see here. So. I need this to be roughly about a quarter inch thick is what we're going for. Okay, so we're almost there. All right, so now that I have this rolled into my rectangle, it's time for me to get to the good stuff here. All right, so now I have my rectangle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece of dough and I'm going to put it long ways. So we're going to actually roll it in this direction. So what I'm going to do is smear this down with some softened butter. You can see my butter is nice and soft. I've left it out at room temperature. So I'm just going to get a good hand of that and I'm going to spread it all around. So one thing whenever you're doing this step in the process, we want to avoid the lower inch or so of this part of the dough. This is gonna be the outside of the roll and I need this to seal. So if I go in and put my butter and brown sugar and everything down to that portion, then um, my rolls won't seal and they'll kind of start to come and roll. So I'm gonna avoid that little last lower section there. Okay. There we go. So we have a nice smear of delicious butter. This is unsalted butter as well just so you know. Okay, there we go. So now that I've got that, I'm going to sprinkle across there some cinnamon sugar. Yum, right? These are gonna be cinnamon sticky buns, so we gotta have that. So I'm just gonna do a little light sprinkle across there. Sprinkle, sprinkle. And we just wanna cover this really well. Can you ever have too much cinnamon sugar? You can to a certain extent, but it would take a lot to do that. All right, so I'm just gonna sprinkle this across here. Give us a nice even layer of that. And for the cinnamon sugar, this is roughly one cup of sugar with one tablespoon of cinnamon. That's my usual recipe for cinnamon sugar. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in, kind of spread this out some, making sure that we're all well covered. All right, so now that we have that spread out, you can see my little space where I didn't put any. I'm gonna start from this end. This end is further from me. I'm gonna start rolling toward me. I'm just gonna take and first off, flip my dough over, and then I'm gonna continue rolling. And then what I'm gonna do is kind of pull on my dough a little bit and then roll. And that ensures that I have a nice tight roll. I don't want this to be real loose because it can kind of start to come unrolled whenever you do like that. So I'm kind of pushing back and then pulling it toward me. And that's gonna give me the tight roll that I'm looking for. Okay, and we're gonna continue on with that all the way down okay so now you can see i'm left with the very bottom portion let me move this so y'all can see it there we go see i have this little slab so what i'm going to do is let me turn this around so you can see it better there we go i'm going to take these two and seal them 
And the way that I do that, you can either take your finger and kind of lift this up and pinch it there. Okay. So we're just going to give that a good pinch. I don't want to poke a hole in my dough, so I'm not digging my fingers real deep. It's just that very outer edge that I'm kind of pinching it to. If you do poke a hole, there's no need to freak out and throw it away or anything. It'll still taste good. They just won't have the most aesthetically pleasing look when they come out of the oven. So now that becomes the belly where we've sealed it. See myself, so I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna roll this back and forth a few times on my table. And that's just going to ensure that that seal is fully sealed. The seal is sealed. There we go. Okay, so now I have my nice even log. If it's not even, you can go through with your hands. Like let's say the center was real thick and the edges weren't, and I can kind of just square it up with my hands like that. All right, so now we are ready to slice this. So what we're gonna do is we can take a serrated blade. I'm gonna use my bench scraper. This is a very handy tool. Now I'm just gonna cut off the end here, okay? And then what we're gonna do is use a serrated blade Sorry, I had to run and get my serrated blade. I'm gonna use this big hefty serrated blade, but this is gonna cut through really nicely. So I like them to be about an inch thick, right around there. So once we slice through it, if you hold it up there, you can see that nice spiral. Yay, success! So what I'm gonna do is put this into a spray pan. I'm doing these small round um, aluminum pans. We'll sell these in packs of four, but I wanna do is spray that lightly and then I wanna put, I'm putting four in there and I'll show you how I'm gonna do that. I wanna make sure that I leave a little bit of space in between these rolls because what's gonna happen, I need to let this have a second rise, okay? So if I put them in there and they're already really tight, instead of kind of expanding outwards and filling out the pan, if they don't have anywhere to grow, they're gonna to start to grow upwards and then that's gonna make them kind of, the center's gonna start coming out the top. So I'm gonna leave some room. I can kind of pat them down just a little bit here. And so these are gonna have a second rise. They're gonna double in size again. And once they're doubled in size, that's gonna take about 30 to 45 minutes. Once that's done, these are gonna go in a 350 degree oven for roughly 12 minutes or so. You want the tops to be nice and golden brown. You want the bottom to be golden brown as well. And then uh, you can slather these with some cream cheese frosting. Yeah, who doesn't love cream cheese frosting? But otherwise, that is how we assemble our cinnamon sticky buns. And I hope you give this recipe a try. Thanks.